Hi, welcome back to Brentech IT Support. Today we're going to be looking at setting up the Synology Drive system, which is the software which allows you to sync and share files across your Synology Drive NAS to your remote machines such as desktops and laptops and mobile devices as well. It looks a really nice bit of software, so let's crack on and have a look. First what we need to do is find the Synology Drive server and click install. You have to agree to that and install the extra parts. Okay, now that's installed all the packages, we can just click open. Update that as well whilst we're here. I need to wait for that one to install first, obviously. Open drive. You can see who's connected. Logs of what has been connected and happened. Shared folders. and your settings. So what we'll do is we will create a folder first. I thought when we created a user it would have automatically have created a shared folder for us. And we'll create a folder. Yeah, I'd always select hide subfolders and files from users without permission. That way only the people allowed to see it will see it, which will just make things a little neater for people and a little bit more secure, but mainly just for neatness. You could set a quota for the space to restrict how big the file can get. I want to have full access because I don't mind about the space. We can always just upgrade the drive, so it's not a problem. Okay. Yep, it's saying don't lose your key because they can't get it back. We'll just save that there for now. We can move that later. Okay. Enable the home file. No, I don't want to do the password expiration. Look at a two-step verification, that's a nice new feature, I might be using that. Right. So now each user will automatically get their own home space.
let's see, you go for the drive application, you can get the app and it will then install it for your PC. Open that, run. Agree, English, okay, next. Agree. Finish. Start now. And you can either have sync task or backup task. I like the sync task way of doing things, so I'm going to try this. Now, as we're on our same network, we should be able to find it, but if you're doing a remote connection, you'd have to type in your Quick Connect ID. And your username and password. This is nice how it allows you to set up how you want to connect things. So you can choose what you want to share. I'll just leave it as standard for now. So you're able to share things with other people. You can pause it, you can see the status of it. Nice little quick demo. That's all good. So this is now our new shared file. And I will drag some contents into it. some test work and I'll paste that straight in there and you can see that it is now updated six files and that has done that's synced that straight away let's see if you can grab some bigger files So that's pushing some of my videos straight to the NAS box, which is quite nice. And we can see it hasn't quite fully synced them yet, but it is doing it. And these are the ones that it has synced with the tick, and it hasn't quite done it with the ones that are blue yet. But we can choose what we want on our machine. You can see that they are now here on the NAS box. What I normally do is when I set it up, I actually create my own file within C drive. And here you can see that I've created a Synology drive folder. If I come to there, I've got my extra folders that I'm using here. And you can just add a new folder like this and give it any name, doesn't matter. And that doesn't make it sync. That's purely just creating a place to save it where I know it's saved and it won't be backed up. So if I want to add a new directory to it, we come down to here, click on three buttons, settings, and just close that, and you click create. You'd add key. If you've already keyed in your details, it's memorized them, you can just click next. Otherwise you need to add another technology or you could actually have more than one server that you're running from and you need to have a different connection there. So it I've already set selected them all so I haven't got any available. Oh actually I do okay I'll I'll select this one click okay 
And now I'm going to select this folder, edit this, and I'm going to pop this into my Synology Drive test folder. I don't need to create an empty folder because I've already created it. You can then click OK, click Done, and that is now synchronizing with the server. You can see the icons now changed, and that's now being synchronized. So if you come into here, we can see what is being synchronized. Now this icon means that the file is currently only on our server. If you right click on it, we can come to Synology Drive and we've got the option of pin copy permanently. So if we do that, it's now getting the file and it's now pinned permanently. You can help tell that from the solid green circle with a little tick. Or we can come back to here, we can say unpin. And now it's gone to a white circle with a green tick. The difference between this is one, once you turn the computer on, will automatically go to update it if it's been pinned. So if you've got pinned permanently, it will always try and keep the latest version on both your client and server. If you're just having it where it's been accessed on the client, next time you open that file, it will have to re-download it if there's a change. You can browse previous versions so you can see what other versions there were of it, or you can click on free up space and that removes it from your system and it leaves it on the server. So it doesn't delete it from the server. If you do delete it from here, it will delete it from the server. So if you just wanted space back, just go and do the free up space option to free up your local hard drive. Okay, when you've got a selection of files and you just want to open one of them, we can see that all of them at the moment are still just only on our server and not locally. But if you click on this image and open it up, you can see it starts syncing it, downloads the image, and we have it. Close it. Now it's downloaded that one locally. It's also downloaded the two either side of it as well, so that you can have quick access to those because it assumes you're probably going to want to look at those images as well, which is perfectly fair enough and a very good feature. And if you don't want them, again, you can always just right click, go in there and go free up space. And that'll take that one off. You can also do it with a group of them as well by selecting them, again, free up space. Now, also with Drive, there is a history facility where you can look at previous saved versions of a file. So I know I've made changes to this one, so we'll come here, come to Synology Drive, and we can browse previous versions. And you can see that we've got nine different versions of that file. So you can see the date and time that we've changed them, and you can download it to the computer, and you can choose where to save the new file to, you can rename it, so you don't overwrite the original. So that if you know you've been working on a file and you've made a change by mistake and overwritten your file, you can actually come back to an old version and pick up where you left off, removing that error. Or if you had something like the CryptoLocker virus, you could recover an old copy. Potentially that is another benefit of it. Also, if you just got corrupt data, if you're in the middle of doing some work, and you went to save it and there's a power cut or something just went wrong and it caused the save file to get corrupted, you'd have technically lost all your work. But this way you can go back to a previous saved instance of it and you'd have lost some work, but only from the previous point. So you won't have to redo all of your entire project. So that's a wonderful, wonderful feature of this software, which is one of the reasons why we recommend it. That's really it now for now. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it easy to follow. If you do have any further questions, please do just drop a comment down below. If you did like the video and found it helpful, please do give it a good like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe. As always, take care. Bye for now.